It is the second day of the World Championships here in Paris, France. I'm joined by Xpeke, who, since I last met him, has become a small business owner. Yeah. And uh, it looks like you, you really stepped up your game for, for what we've seen here at, at Worlds. Uh, you guys just beat LGD. You got a quadra kill. So as pulled an Xpeke. I guess you taught him that. Uh, go, going into that game... Uh, you know, what What were your expectations against them? Because so many people, I think, counted you guys out. There was, like, this kind of perverse pleasure and, like, oh, Origin's fucked. Yeah, yeah. I guess we had the same feeling coming to this game. Like, LGD, since they were in our groups, we never got to practice them. And there's all this... It's, it's hard to tell, right? Because some people say, yeah, this, they are the best team in China. We see that they destroy playoffs. Then someone say, no, they are not so good. Someone say, and it's scary, right? Because we play other teams. And we kind of try to think about our level, not theirs. And when we seen the way we played, we were we were confident that we would be able to to beat them without making mistakes. But at the same, if they were not really, really, really good, uh, which which they were, but at the same time they made a lot of mistakes themselves. Like when it came to pick and ban, I think it was an, a really equal pick and ban. They get they got the best they could get because they had a scaling comp that would beat us late game, while we had a really really strong mid game comp. But when it came to the game strategy. I felt like they maybe overforced a bit too much sometimes, maybe with the Kogma. And they they didn't really make mistakes, but they didn't play fully to their combat. And that just made us get confident over the game, I feel like. We were playing them, they were not better than us in lane. We were playing them, they were not better than us in rotation or strategy. So I think over the game we were like, okay, we're gonna start, we, we can do what we want to do. We can uh, just play like we play, don't, because it's LGD, we don't have to change our playstyle, just do the same thing. And I think once we got that going, we were able to fight for vision really good. We were able to to pretty much control the game. Even when they could control it, we could control it another way, kind of. And yeah, I don't know. At first, I wasn't. Uh, I was confident we would do good, but I thought we would probably lose. And during throughout the game, I was like, then we can actually like beat them, you know? Like, and they, these guys are not better than us. They are like <laughs> another team. They are a really good team. Yeah. But if we have our A game, we can beat them. I don't know if it was the analyst desk or the casters who said this, but they were kind of going over the different uh, lanes, and somebody said that they thought that you were the biggest mismatch in the mid lane, right? Uh, but then you seem to do do quite well. Kind of uh, based off that, I, I kind of feel like a lot of people are maybe either underestimating you or thinking like maybe you're weak link. Do you feel like you have something to prove here at the championships? Uh, well... It's always the same. I, I don't have anything to prove because norm I have been playing for so long yeah. that I have lived this before. I have lived the uh, Peke is a god, Peke is shit, Peke is the best, yeah. Peke is the worst. I have lived this so many times that I don't I don't focus on it. I, I used to not read Reddit because I will get mad, you know. But now now sometimes I go read it and, and, and have a laugh there because it's, it's funny. When you see the comments, even when they play me, they are so funny sometimes like yeah. with the memes and stuff that I actually enjoy watching it. Okay. And and yeah, I didn't have any, anything to prove. It's, I think it happens to... To every player, even Faker, you know, like you have good times and bad times. It just comes down to sometimes you practice a lot like crazy and it's your your champions that you just sometimes you just need five games to play a champion really good. Yeah. Sometimes you need 50 games to fit with us here. And yeah. that's it. Yeah. And, and I didn't even get 50 games, so I couldn't even fit properly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, I think most of it just come out of the, the Asir game. So I didn't give it too much importance because but at the same time, I'm, I'm happy I played good this game because it kind of gave me a boost that I'm not a, a liability for my team, yeah. which is always good because it's the last thing I always wanted to be. I don't want to, I don't want to be like the reason we lose the game. So, yeah. <laughs> so I always try my best to prove to my teammates that they have a good mid laner. Well, kind of, kind of turning it around. Also, like maybe you don't have much to prove to uh, the fans and you know the the scene as a player, but. Do you feel like you have anything to prove as a team? Because this is the first time that you're going here as Origin, the first time Origin's at Worlds. Uh, do you feel like the team has to prove anything? Yeah, that's. I, th I think. I mean, I don't think we had to prove anything because the fans were counting us out already. <laughs> but I'm really happy the way we played already. Uh, I'm always happy performing. Like this is Worlds, right? Every team is super good, and losing is no no shame, pretty much, uh, unless you get kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> we won't talk about that. We won't talk about that here. But yeah, it's not shame losing to to LGD. It's not shame losing to KT. It's not shame losing to TSM. No, no one in our group. If we lost, we wouldn't be like like them. We suck, you know. Uh, yeah. We failed Europe. I mean, which we did a bit. We lost to the three of them. <laughs> but but yeah, at the same time, if we perform really good, and the other team just outperform us, we wouldn't feel sad. I think we'll feel maybe a bit 
like them that was close you know like we could have got that game but we will be like it was a nice experience it's our first year at worlds together and we are already doing so good like when it comes to to everything we do so good to the practice the the way we learn the way we play together the way we, we communicate is super bad right now but it improves every game during the stage sometimes we had discussions that we know we shouldn't have and we have them and then we are like yeah, yeah talk it after you know like keep it quiet and yeah. We we are we are learning doing well, so yeah. it's already a big thing for us, and I'm just happy the way we're playing, and I hope I hope that we can actually go through groups and uh, have a chance of uh, playing a best of five because that would be super nice for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, whenever I saw Soa start to attack the Nexus and pull the, the XPK, uh, I thought it was very funny because you know I, I just felt like it was like the best way for for you guys to win your first game at Worlds. Uh, for you, were you just like focused on the Baron, or did you just were you just like this is hilarious? Because I'm sure the audience kind of felt that way. Yeah, I, I was I was a bit of both. I was because I wasn't sure. Right, I, we, they were doing Nash. They are five, we are four, and I like yeah. them. If we actually fight them and they get Nash, they're gonna ace us, right? So at the same time, I was like, okay, so as finishing is our last hope. But I, I was not like laughing at it, right? Because yeah. I was like, yeah, it's our last hope, which means if we lose, we are, we are um, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> so so we just I just focus on the fight, and then. We stopped every recall except Mal5, so we were like, like kind of confident. Uh, okay, so he can maybe finish even if we lose the fight or, or take two turrets and make them not get anything. But then we started winning the fight, so as I started to say, I'm finishing, I can finish. He's slowing my attacks, but I can finish. And, and I was just chasing the Lulu and be like, holy, we're actually going to win this, you know? Like, <laughs> And it, it was an exciting way to finish. Like, yeah. Actually, we got really pumped there, finishing like that. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to any of your fans out there, Peke? Yeah, like... Uh, Thank you all for supporting a lot because honestly, like, even if people say I'm bad mid laner or that Orion is not going to get out of groups, we have so many fans that follow us and give us support and we can just check Reddit or Twitter and it's super nice. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for the interview. Congratulations on the win. Really exciting to see you guys play and uh, pull off those kind of maneuvers in front of the French crowd supporting you. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things worlds at GameSpot.com LOL.